Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speed build video of Pond to Zoo. And in this episode, we are going to add the beautiful moose to our zoo from the North America Animal Pack. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description, that Below, you will get an amazing discount and you will also be supporting the channel and to celebrate this awesome collaboration we are doing a special giveaway where you can win a game of your choice so just click the link in the description of this video enter the game or dlc you would like to win and participate good luck now first of all i really would like to thank you all so much for your amazing support in all three sea lion episodes we did for the zoo for those that have not seen it yet you can find all the videos in the playlist of pond to zoo obviously with the first video being like this indoor show area and the other two some really cool outdoor areas with like a big underwater viewing gallery and a seating area outdoor as well like i am super happy still with how all these habitat has turned out and i am super happy to see how many of you like these builds as well so seriously thank you all so much for watching those episodes like you can tell at this moment in time like a few weeks before we got some news for a new DLC and a free update and it's now like being halfway of March that people are just really ready for something new in Planet Zoo. So always this time of year things start to slow down a little bit on the channel as well which is totally fine but it also just makes me realize how thankful I am for the people sticking around here and still watching my videos no matter what. So yeah if you feel like you are one of those people and you are still watching all of my planet zoo videos let me know in the comments down below and let me tell you that you are such an amazing legend for all your support throughout every day and every week and every month and every video honestly it really means the world to me you guys have no idea thank you so much for that so yeah today we are adding the moose to pond to zoo but for this habitat i honestly didn't have that much inspiration when i started also didn't really use google this this time for some inspiration as I feel like most moose habitats are probably pretty simple as it goes for like many hooved animals to be honest. So yeah everything you are seeing today is me basically building things on the spot with my own imagination from scratch I guess. <laughs> now this habitat does feel a little bit like a filler habitat for some reason though like as I later on realized this habitat is located right next to one entrance of the dome now that entrance is nothing more than a path coming out of a wall still but obviously later on we are going to make like a nice entrance area here right next to the moose habitat but yeah the path you see me laying down here is also like the first connection basically uh that we are getting with the outdoor seal habitat by the way like it's actually really nice to have the first connection here to the other area like we still have a lot of work to do in Ponte Zoo but it's definitely not going to be a big zoo like city zoo we have going on on the channel as well so yeah it somewhat feels like this is really a step further into finishing the zoo even though we still have like plenty of animals to add still in this one like talking about animals I am actually very curious what kind of animals you would like to see me at next in Ponte Zoo if you have any nice suggestions or maybe also a real life habitat I can use for inspiration for their habitat, do let me know in the comments down below. Like I really look forward to reading all your suggestions and please do keep in mind though that this is a colder climate zoo. So apart from maybe some indoor tropical habitats we could build on the outside, I won't be adding too many tropical animals in the zoo to be completely honest. The focus of Ponte Zoo is really focusing on the colder climate animals mostly and in like the aquatic dome we could add a few more tropical animals and, and maybe we could build one more bigger building in the outdoor of a pond to zoo where we could also add some tropical animals but that is not really the focus of this zoo colder climate animals is the way to go for i guess but okay back to this moose habitat so just keep on rambling here like this moose habitat is located right next to my favorite beaver habitat i have built so far if you have not seen that 
video yet, I would highly recommend you to watch that video as well, as it is, in my opinion, definitely a very interesting habitat to maybe give you some inspiration for your own zoos as well. Uh, but yeah, so between the beaver and the moose habitat, I wanted to make sure that there is like this extra path as I want to avoid it being too busy if you only have like one path looking in both habitats, if that makes any sense. And since all these paths here are basically raised in the air, it definitely is like a different way of working with your path, I guess, as I am also like using the standard path railing here since with all these curves, I feel like it's going to be too much work to cover all these railings here. I'm actually just too lazy to do that, honestly, but hey, that's why they sometimes call me the lazy designer, huh? <laughs> so yeah, when I had the path in place, I started to work on the water area first as the moose likes to swim in the water. I find it's pretty important to add like a water area for their habitat. Now, obviously the guests won't be able to watch into the habitat from all the sides. So by using like a combination of a more open area and at some areas close it off with some rocks, for example, I make sure there is like this nice variation going on with like different type of viewing galleries in this habitat. And underneath the path, I obviously just make sure it's all neatly closed off with some normal rocks, I guess. So on the other side of the house, I wanted to make sure there was like this different type of viewing gallery as I didn't want this more main path to be used by guests to look into the habitat. So I make sure there is like this raised building where the people can walk into and from there they can look into the moose habitat. Now this is just a pretty simple wooden cabin for the guests to use with like this open window as the moose doesn't really feel like that dangerous of an animal to close this window off or that we have to worry that they are able to escape from this window. It's something new that I'm using for this building are like those shipwreck pieces from the Arctic pack. Like I think in all time I am playing and building in Planet Zoo, I only used them once with the dwarf caiman safari boat ride, like the underwater tunnel area. Can't even remember if we ever used them in anything else until now, honestly. But if you remember, do let me know in the comments down below, but I, I don't think so. But yeah, these wooden pieces actually work pretty well as a fence too. I, I would not recommend to use them everywhere though, but for some variation, I definitely think they work really nice here. So I used them a little bit as a fence on this side with the viewing cabin and in front of the cabin as well, by the way, just as a bit more like safety protection, I guess, like that the moose can't get too close to the cabin. And on the other side of one path, I also did use them a little bit as a backside wall, which also works nice here, I guess, for some variation, but also makes it feel a little bit more fit together, I guess. But yeah, the rest of the, most of the raised path on the backside will simply be covered with like the acrylic rock walls to stay in the same style as the rest of the zoo, I guess. And for the rest of the habitat as a fence, I simply use more of the normal tundra rocks to close it all off. Now actually when I was working on this habitat and added the keeper's gate was the moment when I realized I didn't have any shelter for the moose and I didn't have any plans for it. Like not that I'm really sure if they would really need them but I did want to add a little shelter building in the end to at least give them like the option to go in the shelter or not and to make it a little bit more realistic I did use a few of these custom fences in the middle and a little bit of hay baddings to uh, make it a little bit more realistic, I guess. Now the shelter is pretty simple, like just a log building and I make sure that, that the keeper's gate is entering in this building as well. As I do find this a little bit more realistic for some reason. Like sometimes I do build like the keeper's gate separately from a shelter building, but for some reason, like adding it into the shelter building itself feels a little bit more realistic to me at some point. Now one thing I do add later in this build as well on the side where you have like the beaver habitat on the opposite side. I added like these three pipes with some water beams. It's, it's just something really simple, but to, like to get a little bit of the idea that water is floating from one habitat to the other habitat or something like that, I guess. It's just like a small little detail, but it sometimes is in the small little de details and it really does work for some extra variation in here, I guess. 
Now, obviously, the rest of the habitat is just me decorating with a lot of rocks and the usual trees and bushes and flowers we have going on here in Pontesu, and also a lot of the aquatic rocks and stuff. Like at some point, you feel like, yeah, well, okay, uh, putting down the rocks and the trees and the bushes and everything is, uh, yeah, you can you can see what I'm doing, and it all makes total sense. So I don't really feel like talking about it too much, as I'm not doing anything different than what we are doing in the rest. Of Pont de Zoo, I guess. Now, one thing I do have to say that I actually regret not making this habitat a tiny little bit bigger <laughs> because when I added the moose in the habitat, I noticed how big the moose actually is. <laughs> so, yeah, this habitat may feel a little bit too small for them in the end, <laughs> but that's what you get if you don't add the animals before you start building. <laughs> so, it is what it is, I guess. As I am the lazy designer, sometimes I just hide behind that that I am too lazy right now to make their habitat bigger because I was already finished with the whole habitat. But yeah, for like many animals, I, I feel like I want to build it a lot smaller, all the habitats, but for the moose, yeah. Okay, the moose uh, was just a miscalculation, I guess. <laughs> I, I think you will really see what I mean when you see the cinematic shots in the end. But yeah, anyways, do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of this new moose habitat in Pontesu. Leave a like at the video if you enjoyed and if this video inspires you for your own builds of course let me know if you have any nice animal suggestions for Pont de Sue. and also of course do not forget to check out the instant gaming giveaway with the link in the description of this video and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys